Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. Now it's time for those that rule the halls of high school. And before we ring in the new year, it's a look back at our top plays from the past year. Number 10, Ogallala Unified Bowling, which captured its first title behind the clutch rolls from Zach Christensen as he led the Indians past York 3-1. to one. And every member of the team is going to be back again next year, too. At number 9, the Minute, May, Minute Men of Lexington capturing the Class B cross-country title and knocking off four-time repeat champion Omaha Scott. The title is the fifth in school history, first since 2009, as four Minutemen finished in the top 15 to deliver the title. Will you remember what you were doing in 2001? Northwest Volleyball does, making the state tournament, and they've made it every year since. The 21-year streak gets number eight on our list for the Vikings, who, after losing to Aurora twice in the regular season, defeated them for the B6 district title. And it may not be 21 straight appearances, but back-to-back -back state titles, that lands Broken Bow Girls Golf on our list at number seven. Bro Bow trailed Columbus SCOTUS after day one before catching fire in day two, shooting a combined score of 719 for their second consecutive championship. To number six we go, but it was Central City becoming number one. The Bison snagged the Class C championship on the mats with their three first place finishes, helping them pass Aquinas Catholic 135 to 126. Seven. Throw in three more podium finishes, and you've got a year for the ages. At number five, York Girls Track and Field edged out Elkhorn State for the Class B team title, 63 points to 62 and a half. The Dukes showed their stuff in the 1600 and 3200, as well as pole vault, claiming three top five finishes in both of those distant races to help fuel their run to the top of the podium. GICC Boys Basketball takes number four on our list after they dominated the C2 state tournament on their way to a state title. Wins of 29, 24, and 21 points. Talk about leaving no doubt to claim what they had just missed out on in 2020. And speaking of leaving no doubt, Flavia Nagatani of Kearney doing the exact same for spot number three, the grappler, repeated as the 103-pound champion in the Girls Nebraska Scholastic Wrestling Coaches Association State Championships and was also named the outstanding wrestler for the 103 to 132-pound weight classes. And now to the final two. Coming in at number two, Hastings Boys Track and Field that ended arguably one of the longest droughts known to ovals in Nebraska history as the Tigers won the Class B state championship for their first title in 90 years. 47 points to just beat out Waverly's 46 and podium finishes in the 100, 400, 800, 1600, and 3200 meter races. And all three relays helped claim the title with wins by their 4x8 relay and Jaden Welsh with the mile win the mile in a time of four minutes and 30.35 seconds. And coming in at number one on the year for 2021, the Kennesaw Blue Devils taking home the D2 state, state championship, the first ever title in school history. In their 12th straight year in the playoffs, Kennesaw defeated a team that was no stranger to the championship game in Sand Hills, Thedford, as the Knights played for it all back in 2020. And trailing by 10 points in the fourth quarter, the Blue Devils defense threw on the clamps, scoring the final 16 points and made a fourth down stop with under two minutes to play to clinch the title. An absolutely impressive run by everyone on our list. An impressive year, to say the least. Very happy to see some of those great memories unfold.